Keep watching this video for some iPad math task examples for students ready for first and second grade NBT and OA learning targets. The first task is a skip counting book. Students may choose between Explain Everything and Book Creator. These are two apps that they have used previously and are familiar to them. The target is a skip count within 1,000 by tens, hundreds, and fives. And now this depends on the child's readiness level. Part of our instruction is getting students familiar with what they are ready for, what is just right for them. Some students will eventually make more than one skip counting book. The criteria or must for this project include creating a starting two or three digit number, again, what the child is ready for, using Dice Roller, another free app, using a new page for each number, and at least 10 pages, which means skip counting 10 numbers in a row. Each page needs to show the number in standard form and base 10 blocks. Students may take a screenshot using Number Pieces, another free app, or some students prefer to use the pen tool and draw their base 10 blocks on the page. The nice thing about Book Creator for this project is that it has a Pages ability to see all pages at once, which really helps students double check that they are accurately skip counting numbers in a row. Here's an example of what one page of a skip counting book may look like. The next task is a number names project. Once again, students can choose between Explain Everything and Book Creator. Their learning target is, I can read and write numbers in words, based on blocks, and expanded form. The criteria or must for this project include creating two or three digit numbers using Dice Roller, using a new page for each number, at least 10 pages, so that'll be 10 different numbers. And then, of course, showing each number in standard form, words, expanded form, and base 10 blocks. Students can take a screenshot from number pieces or choose to use the pen tool and draw the base 10 blocks right on the page. Here's an example of what one page of a number names project may look like. The next task is the comparing numbers task. The learning targets include comparing two three-digit numbers using symbols and proving that one number is smaller or greater than the other. Once again, students can choose between Explain Everything or Book Creator. The criteria includes using Dice Roller to create two three-digit numbers, writing two different number sentences to compare those numbers, and using screenshots of number pieces to prove which number is smaller or greater. Most students built the smaller number in one color of base 10 blocks on number pieces, and then in a different color of base 10 blocks, added how many more they needed to make the greater number. As a challenge for students that were ready for it, they could determine how much greater the larger number is, which isn't very difficult once you see the two different colored base 10 blocks. Here's an example of what one page of a child comparing numbers task may look like. As students make sense of the part-part-whole method, or fact fluency, this task for fact family houses is a good one. Using QR Reader, students can open this file in Book Creator. They can then practice creating and solving fact families with the greatest than a smaller number missing. Students need to follow these simple steps in order to get this book into their Book Creator on their own iPad. First, scan with the QR Reader, then upload to open in Safari, Go to Download, click Open In, then Open in Book Creator. The book automatically opens in their Book Creator and they're able to edit it as needed. It gives them directions on how to roll dice and dice roller and create either a larger number or a smaller number. Then they can solve for the missing third number. Students ready for a challenge automatically created two-digit numbers in order to practice their math fact fluency within 100. Here's an example of what one page of their book creator book may look like. This page had them solve for the missing greater number, practicing addition within 20. The addition number story task is moving into OA learning targets. The first step is for students to choose one of these number sentences, 342 plus 129, or 85 plus 37, and this all depends on the child's readiness level. The next step is to create a number story that fits the number sentence they chose. Using Book Creator Explain Everything, they need to write down that number story. 
they need to explain and record the problem solving methods to solve it. At least three different ways to solve their number story include pictures and outline steps of each method. Students also need to prepare to share their number story with their peers. You can choose to do this whole class as small groups, but it's a great way to build discourse in a primary classroom. The subtraction number story task is identical to the addition one, just using subtraction. Students choose one of these number sentences, 263 minus 149 or 74 minus 45. Their job is to create a number story that fits the number sentence they chose and use Book Creator Explain Everything to write it down. The next step is to explain at least three different ways to solve their number story, including pictures and outlining steps as if they were teaching a peer how to perform that method. They need to prepare to share their number story with their peers so they are confident in what they are going to say, another effective way to build and foster discourse in a primary classroom. Students work on these math tasks over several days, sometimes a week, during their iPad math rotation. Students share a few each day during the sharing portion of our math workshop at the very end until all students have had a chance to share. Students are able to give cares, concerns, compliments, or questions to each speaker after they're done.